I don't know. They feel like Miami Vice shoes. This is the first shoe from the LVC line. They've done crossover collaborations before. There was the Sketson hat in 2017. Wish they would have done a Lacoste B collection collaboration for that one too. Real Western look. But they've also done DS Durga fragrances for the Einstein jackets. And you can find Levi's Premium doing uh, New Balance shoes and a few others. Overall, I don't really care for the Levi's footwear. They're just putting their name on something, maybe a little flash of denim, but also along with an upcharge. Good Levi's vintage clothing. Clark's collaboration is unique. Mostly because of these really cool color schemes. You're not going to find Clark's with these color schemes. Bright pastels are emulating this underground scene from the late 80s. And then it becomes the more popular ideal of the early 90s. I think pre-grunge era. They come in three designs. The desert boot. This is the original Clark style. And I love my blue suede red wing Chuka Bork boots. But they don't make them anymore. And I've pretty much destroyed mine walking across three continents over 10 years. And this is a nice replacement for them. The colors are a two-tone pale blue. One's a little more nubuck roughed up on the toes and then the sides a little smoother. They give you lavender laces, which give a wonderful complementary contrast. The blue suede elf boot was popular the last decade. I dig it. This one is a step up from it. And they pair great with white jeans and decently with any shade of blue. The Wallabies. And this is a shoe that really cries out, I'm going to the country club. And they come in this cloudy pink. The laces are orange. It doesn't blend well with the pink. There's no contrast. It looks a little muted on muted with it. But these are definitely the hardest to pull off. Uh, they're going to get you noticed. They do complement black, rigid, blue, and white jeans. Really well, though. Then there's the Weaver. Wallabies and Weavers are both low cuts. The Desert Boot is a high cut. Uh, a new but natural yellow for the Weavers. And the laces are like the same color as the shoes. Those are the most toned down of all three. You could wear them into the office or a night out in town. And the only people who really notice are shoe fans. What's in the box? You get the shoes, you get the leather samples. I like to use them on the laces, kind of like a mini spat. And you get the box. Uh, no catalog tag, which I'm a little surprised at, or extra laces. I think they should come with. The sizing. They run a little bigger than Red Wings in the equivalent size, but smaller than Birkenstocks. So, for example, I'm a U.S. size 10 on Red Wings, and I drop down half a size for the Clarks. You can always throw some insoles in if they're too big, or you can use some stretchers if they're a little too small. Now for the review. The good. The colors just pop. They, they get noticed. They're a vibrant, natural, synthetic hybrid. They are made in Portugal. Most Clarks are made in Vietnam, but a small section is made in Portugal. There's also a Levi's factory there. And Portugal is the most ethical country to buy any Levi's vintage clothing product from. The sole pads are super comfy. They have this high cushion mound on the heel. Now the bad. Where's the catalog tag, man? You know, these are a featured item from the spring-summer 2021 lookbook, but no tag to tell the story. Uh, the leather ankles on the desert boot are a lot more flimsy compared to Red Wings. These are incredibly delicate shoes, so be prepared for the hair tips. Dude, it's fragile suede in a light pastel. Good luck, man. Scotchgard.
brush every time you use them. Keep them in shoe expanders if you want to keep the shape. Overall, I'm really glad the LVC line is making other clothing accessories to match your jeans. I think it's a worthy product, but keep in mind these are delicate items, so they need a lot of care. They are wearable. You just need to keep it well oiled. I look forward to many more collaborations as Levi's Vintage Collection is redoing their line and kind of recycling throughout the years. This is Den from Den and Denim. Thanks for watching. It really touches my heart to see this channel grow, so subscribe for more.